Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, God bless you, happy new year. I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and I pray that this year will do you well, the Lord will be with you, the Lord will visit you and shall grant you every righteous heart desires of yours in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, we all shall live through it, we shall cross over it yet again in the name of Jesus. Amen. Listen, as I'm looking at you, oh, okay, you are watching me, you are the one looking at me. You're not old enough to die, so the Lord God will preserve you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Welcome to the End Time Truth TV. All right. Um, now, this video, I would, if it is possible, had it been possible for me to appeal to everyone that will watch this video to forget about your religious affiliation, whether you are or uh, should I say your denomination, um, Apple Francis took a fire in the church when two weeks ago he approved that the Catholic priests could bless same-sex couples and um, have tried very hard. But they are, the harder they try, the more foolish it, it becomes because it doesn't make sense. He wants us to look at it that he is not or that he didn't authorize same-sex marriage but blessing same-sex couples. And who are who are cop who are um <laughs> <laughs> ah the devil the devil is stuck at this point in time but then i'm not the one that you are going to listen to now uh gino jennings is very very angry with your pope your pope now the pope should actually be disrespected on this matter no matter how highly you placed him or you have esteemed him as it has to do with this matter the pope has goofed the pope has has opened up and shown us his real identity a pope is a representative of the devil is not of god anybody that will go against the bible and is still saying he is preaching the gospel is not of christ i didn't say it the bible said let him be accursed whosoever they may be that will preach to you another gospel and you know there is no other gospel if there is another that is of the devil and you know we have the doctrines of demons but anyway um listen to apostle gino jennings as he challenges pope francis about for an open debate see you at the end of the video You are welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. Peace. Welcome to another episode of the C-Rock Smooth Show. Uh, I want to cover this news. This is definitely breaking news. Uh, Apostle Gino Jennings uh, discovered that the Pope endorsed same-sex marriage and he challenged him to a live televised debate. Let's get straight into it. But Mr. Francis, or Miss, whatever he want to go by, I want the Pope of the Catholic Church to have a televised discussion. Is same-sex marriage justified in the eyes of God outside of church? Outside of church. Is the sinner, is he even justified marrying his own kind? You blind deceived folk, you think when the Pope talks, that's God talking. No, when the Pope talks, that's the devil talking. Now, I know you don't like what I'm saying. I know you don't like what I'm saying. And listen, I don't care if you don't. We have the same book of scripture that's in every Catholic church. We have the same book of scripture that's in every Catholic convent, in every Catholic rectory, in every Catholic school. We have the exact same scripture. All right, let's hear what the word of God said. First in the book of Leviticus. All right, turn them up. Turn them up loud. Amen. All right. First in the book of Leviticus chapter 18. And we'll start at verse 22. Follow me in your Bible. In the book of Leviticus chapter 18. So I, I want CNN, Fox, MSNBC, ABC, Al Shazir, CW. I, I, I want to interrupt all y'all news stations. Play this now. Let this interrupt every ball game. Let this interrupt the election. <laughs> That's right. Let this interrupt. I want the world to know Pope Francis is a lie. He lied. He blasphemed. He lied. 
Sin is wrong regardless of who committed. Sinner not justified because he's a sinner. Listen at what the word of God says. In the book of Leviticus chapter 18 and at verse 22. Follow me. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. As with womankind. As with womankind. It is abomination. God talking. God didn't break it up in categories and say, oh well, this is just for you church folk. No. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. Thou, he's just making a straight statement. Telling everybody. Thou shalt not lie hey, with Hey Francis, hey Francis, hey Francis, give Pope Francis the chapter and the verse. In the book of Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 22. All you Catholics, get your Bible, all of you. The overseer of the Catholic church is a liar sent by the devil. Did you hear what I said? Yeah. I said the leader of the Catholic church is a liar sent by the devil. They don't like Pastor Jenny because I'm not bought. Mm -mm, I'm a free, independent, God-made preacher. Right. Mm -hmm. I wasn't elected by a board of bishops. They didn't have to come together and wait for a puff of smoke to come up out of a tower to make me an apostle. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God, I was made by hands of heaven. How is it? Your religion bow to this great whore mm. who had drank from the cup of a fornication. Give me Leviticus, give me Romans. Yes. And then I want to park and just empty all my quarters and the meter that says Revelation. That's right. I want the book of Revelation, the 18th chapter. 18th chapter. I want to show you why I call the Catholic Church the great whore. That's right. All right, follow me. First in the book of Leviticus, chapter 18, you we're at verse 22. When the come in town, bow. We bow to no man. That's right. And we don't bow to no woman. And we don't bow to no thing. Bow to only God himself. That's right. How is it when a folk come in town, mayors get on their knees, governors get on their knees, presidents get on their knees, kings and queens get on their knees, weak, feeble, so-called religious politicians and fake pastors. Go ahead. Even some of you imams kiss the ring of the Pope. Is it your for God? Or you're for the devil. That's right. There is no in between. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Listen at this. In the book of Leviticus chapter 18. We're going to strike this out with Bible. That's it. All right. Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 22. All right. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. As with womankind. Now there's some homosexuals wrote me. Are you saying because I'm homosexual, I shouldn't work, I shouldn't eat, I shouldn't go to school, I shouldn't have a job, Pastor Gino? <laughs> No, I'm not saying that. No. Mm. There's some homosexuals that are very intelligent. So they are. James Baldwin, when he was living, very good author and an excellent debater. Homosexual. I'm not talking about that. Mm. Mr. Uh, Lemon, news broadcast on CNN. Homosexual, but a brilliant journalist. Excellent journalist. What's that other fellow name? Anderson Cooper. Open homosexual, but a brilliant journalist. So I am not talking about your work ethic where you get a check. God ain't talking about your work ethic where you get a check. God is talking about what he did not make your body for. That's right. Yeah, that's right. He made your body to work. For if you don't work, you don't eat. You don't eat. But God did not make you miss out to share your plumbing. Am I right? That's right. <laughs> God didn't make you to share your plumbing with another man. God didn't make you for that. I don't care if you're a homosexual doctor, a homosexual judge, a homosexual attorney, a homosexual journalist, a homosexual teacher, a homosexual nurse, a homosexual politician. We're not talking about your natural job skill. We're talking about your physical indulgence, your sexual behavior. That's, right. That's what, glory to God, the word of God is talking about here. That's right. This is what Moses said. In the book of Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 22. Follow me. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. Thou shalt not. Not lie with mankind. As Thou shalt not lie. 
Thou shalt with not mankind. as with womankind. In the same manner you lie with a woman. It is abomination. Mm -hmm. I don't understand what that means, Pastor Jenny. Mm -hmm. Notice what the language of the Bible. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. Shouldn't lie with mankind. As with womankind. As. As with as womankind. With womankind. It is abomination. And wrong term. Should not be trying to have sex with a man where you have it with a woman. And in the book of Leviticus chapter 20. Should not trying to have sex with a man where you have it with a woman, mister. That's right. Mm. You should not be doing that. That's right. You should not. Yes. Somebody said, do you believe in gay rights? That depends on what right you're talking about. Do gays got a right to eat, folks? Yeah. Talk back to me. Yeah. Talk back to me. Yeah. Do gays got a right to sleep? Yeah. They got a right to have a job? Yes. They got a right to have an education? Yes. They got a right to be a doctor? Yes. They got a right to be a chef? Yes. But do they got the right to have sex with each other? No. What? No. What? No. What? No. Now in the book of Leviticus chapter 20. Are you listening at this? And verse 13. It's in your Bible, Catholic. Follow me. In Mr. Francis, get off your Pope throne. Come on down to the common chair that I sit in. I want you and I, you say you are an apostle. I have declared to the world that God made me an apostle. That's right. So come on. Come on, Mr. Apostle. Because no apostle in that Bible talk like you, Francis. That's right. No apostle in the Bible talk like you, Francis. Come on, Francis. I'm right. calling you out. That's right. Here's one apostle to another. I'm calling you out. I want you and I to get the Bible in the public, in front of the camera. I want you to justify what you said by the Bible. Viewers, understand this. Let me just break up the myth about the Pope. One, he is not next to God. That's right. Two, his word is not gospel. Mm. Only God's word is gospel. That's right. That's right. So you sinners out there that are happy now because you got Pope Francis on your side, that happiness will be shortly. Oh, yeah. Because what he did was gave you an invitation to be an abominable people and to be cast into hell. That's right. Mm. You say Peter was your first pope, but Peter never preached that garbage. You said Paul was a pope. Paul ain't never left. I'll show you what Paul preached. That's right. Give me, let's go right to Rome. Right to Rome. Right I want to Rome. go right to Rome. Right to Rome. I, I want the pope and every Catholic, every diocese bishop, every archbishop, every Catholic that are watching. I'm challenging the pope of Rome for an international televised discussion. I want your pope. Listen to Pastor Jennings. I want your pope. I don't want an altar boy. I don't want a weak priest. I don't want a cheap archbishop. I want your pope. If he got confidence in that trash, listen, I'm declaring to the world what he said was trash. That's right. That's right. What the pope said, that is nothing wrong to have same-sex marriage outside of church he's a blasphemer he's a promoter of abomination mm. he called god a lie mm. he called the bible a lie mm. and as a result i'm calling him a liar that's right you that's catholic right. you catholic you shouldn't take this you shouldn't take this don't take this lying down get mm. up get up my say. that's right <laughs> Write a letter to your pope. Tell him I said I want to face that hypocrite. He blasphemed. The news was interrupted because the pope had a blasphemy message. Yes. Why don't you interrupt the news with this? That's right. Why don't you play this? That's right. Here's a little man in Philadelphia in America challenging the big old pope way in Rome, Italy. Now, 
I'm going to travel to Rome. Right to Rome. In the Bible. That's right. With the book of Romans. In the book of Romans. Listen. Chapter 1. And we'll start at verse 18. Listen at this. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven. The wrath of God is revealed from heaven. Against all ungodliness. Against everything that's not right. And unrighteousness of men. And what? Who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Uh -huh. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. What is? For God has showed it unto them. God showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen. Yes. Being understood by the things that are made even his eternal power and God in All right. so that they are without excuse yes. because that when they knew God they glorified when him they not knew as God, God they don't recognize him as God neither were thankful, not thankful. but became vain Thanks. in their imagination wait a minute Amen. how in the world the Pope will say it's alright for same sex to get married outside the church you are vain in your imagination right. you are vain in it became vain it's a sin for you to even go to the wet it's a sin to give a gift to a same sex marriage right. it's a sin for you to participate in a same-sex marriage. Right. It's a sin if you're a photographer to even photograph a same-sex marriage. Right. It's a sin if you're a musician to even play for a same-sex marriage. Right. It's a sin if you're a songster to even sing at a same-sex marriage. Right. It's a sin if you're a preacher to perform a same-sex marriage. Right. It's a sin if you're a seamstress to make a gown or a dress for a same-sex marriage. Right. It's a sin if you are baker to bake a cake for a same-sex marriage. That's right. Woo! Woo -hoo. Go ahead and pause it. That's right. No man established the law of marriage. That's right. The law of marriage, God installed it. That's right. God enforced it. That's right. God established it. That's right. And every man that come along today must hold the law of marriage in the same manner that God established it yesterday. That's right. Mm. Why? God said, I'm the same today and yesterday. So we take God, hallelujah, and forevermore. These preachers are scared to speak out. Yeah. Even even they gave T.D. Jakes an interview. He flopped around. <laughs> well, there, 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 there's, there's different theologies about homosexuality. There's, there's some theology says one thing, and there's some theology... <laughs> <laughs> Are you getting what I'm talking about? God said it! We believe it. Yeah. If God said it, how we feel about it? We believe it. If God said it, how do we feel about it? We believe it. If God said it, how do the church feel? We believe it. That's right. Amen. We don't believe no pope. That's right. No. Listen, Catholics, your pope is still a sinner yeah. himself. He ain't repented and been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. He don't have the blessed Holy Ghost speaking in other tongues. Right. He's just a sinner with red shoes. That's it. God, God made me like the Apostle Paul. Oh, yes. And I'm declaring to the world if an angel come from heaven and bring another gospel that different from what the apostles preach, that the angels be cussed. That's right. To us, Pope is not the mouth of God. He's nothing but a delirious old <laughs> sinner. That's it. Who's promoting blasphemy and promoting abomination. That's right. Mm hmm all right, William, let's go to Rome. Listen to that this and read quick. Romans 1 and now we're at verse 21. All right. But became vain in their imagination. They became vain in their imagination. And their foolish heart was darkened. Wait a minute. What kind of heart do the Pope have? Foolish heart. A fool heart. The foolish heart. 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 Uh -huh. Was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became foolish. Oh, he thought what he said was so wise. So just tell me, what made you come to that conclusion hmm. that it's all right for two men to kiss outside of St. Peter's Cathedral? <laughs> That's right. Huh. What made you come to that conclusion? That it's all right for a man to knock up another man as long as he don't do it in St. Peter's Cathedral. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's the devil out of hell. Professing themselves to I be told wise. You when these religious I've been telling you for years. When a man started religion, that man justified every piece of trash under the sun. All right. But became vain in their imagination. Their imagination is very vain. And their foolish heart was darkened. Their fool heart is in darkness. Profess covered by the devil. Professing themselves to be, wise. to be wise. 
that they became fools, they became fools and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God so what? into an image made like to corruptible man yes. and the birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. What is? Wherefore, wherefore God also gave God them up. Also, here we write in Rome. Amen. Glory to God, him the message given from God to the apostle Paul, right. born in Tarsus in the city of Cilicia, the one whom the Lord stopped. Blessed be God. Amen. And a light shined from heaven above the brightness of the sun and knocked them down to the earth. And God let him know that I'm Jesus, whom you crucified. It's hard for thee to kick against the brick. Amen. But go to the street that is called straight, and it shall be told you what you must do. Ananias, baptize him. That's God. And lay hands on him that he may receive the sight. That's right. Paul, amen, received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. who went straightway, preaching Jesus was the Christ. That same Paul now is down in Rome. That's right. Blasting the Roman foolishness back to hell. Wherefore? And letting them know what God says. Wherefore? God also gave them up. God! God also gave them up to uncleanness. No, 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 no. God accepted them in their uncleanness. God also gave them up to uncleanness. God accepted them in their uncleanness. God also gave them up to uncleanness. You know, you know, you timid, scared Christians, you scared of this kind of preacher. Mm -hmm. Right away you said, you see, that, that man is full of anger. Where is your love? He's full of, but yet, they won't say that about the Pope. Oh, no, that man can't get up and justify same-sex marriage as nobody said. Yeah, he's, he's bad. He's wrong. <laughs> they say, the journalist would say, the Pope expressed it in such a loving way. Yes, a loving do. way. The journalists would all get together in various screens. Well, uh, uh, what do you say about it, uh, Mr. Makuba? Well, I, I, I think the Pope expressed it so well. He mm -hmm. articulated it well. He uh, did it so nobody of no color, no race can be offended. Uh, what do you say about it, Mr. Williams? Oh, I, I, I must have hookah bar. Um, it just the way the Pope said it, and, 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 then, and, then, and, then, and then the Pope said a key thing outside of church. Outside. See, outside of church. Yeah. That lets you know how, how considerate the Pope is. The Pope is the devil out of hell. That's right. And I want to show you guys this. Even the priest, even the priest spoke against him. Now, this is the Catholic Church priest right here. Listen to what he said close. Backdrop. I want to address something I saw in the news about our Holy Father. And I saw it and I thought, here we go with the media misrepresenting the Pope again. Right? Headline reads, Pope approves and calls for civil unions for homosexuals. I thought, unbelievable. No way. Someone's exaggerated something he said or someone took it out of context or it's a bad translation. So I looked. It's a video. And he's saying exactly what the headline says there's a new video in italian the translation is accurate that the holy father is calling for civil unions for homosexuals now what does that mean well it means that the holy father has a theological opinion contrary to the teachings of the church so he has a prudential judgment a poor prudential judgment that are at odds with the formal teachings of our church that means that we have a bad bad pope bad pope let's go back to apostle bad pope you can dress it up i try dress it up all you want Yep. God made Adam and Eve. That's right. That's what God made. That's right. Now I got married, I married a woman. If I didn't marry a woman, I knew what we going to have seven kids. Oh. When I saw that 14-year-old girl jumping rope and saw all them legs, that was a girl I looked at. Hey, man, that was a guy. If that was, if that was a boy jumping, I wouldn't pay his ashy knees no mind. No way. <laughs> Am I right, I said? That's right. I wouldn't even turn my back. That's right. Thank God, but when I got out that car and saw all them legs, thighs, <laughs> hair flowing, and all momentum slowed down. <laughs> Amen. The glory to God, I had to say, hallelujah. <laughs> I ain't going to say that looking at some man. No way. Am I right, I said? Amen got to be a child of the lowest part of hell. Oh yeah. Claim you a preacher and then say nothing wrong with same sex outside of the church. And now I guarantee little uh, priests and little archbishops don't sit around with red hats <laughs> and red and white aprons and agree to abomination. That's right. Any priest agree to it, you're a sinner. Amen. Any Catholic bishop agree to it, you're a sinner. Any nun 
agree to it. You're a sinner. That's right. Dear Pastor Jennings, now what are you going to do about it? I'm calling for your Pope. I'm calling for your Pope. He's wanted. Red shoes and all. <laughs> That's right. Come on, son. Romans 1, now we're at verse 24. Amen. Wherefore God also gave them up to God uncleanness. gave them up to uncleanness. Through the lust of their own hearts. That's the lust of their own heart. That ain't the lust of God. That's right. That ain't the desire of God. That's the desire of your own heart. That's right. And to dishonor their own bodies. They dishonor their own body. Between themselves. When a man is with a man, you're dishonoring your body. Mm -hmm. When a man is with a man, you're dishonoring your body. That's right. When you perform same-sex marriages, that's dishonor. To dishonor their own bodies. Two men standing there and some dumb, ignorant, hell-deserving so-called preacher or judge going to say, I pronounce you partners for life. My Lord. Lord, that's abomination with abomination. That's right. That's right. Get me? Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through God the lust of their own hearts. To uncleanness through the lust of your own heart. To dishonor their own bodies between themselves. To dishonor your own body between themselves. Who changed the truth Who changed of God? The truth of God into a lie. Hold it. Mm -hmm. Truth of God. God. Truth of God. Let's read the truth of God. Man. Now in the book of Tibet, chapter 8. I want to show you the truth of God about this. In the book of Tibet, chapter 8 and verse 6. That's what? Thou madest Adam. Thou madest Adam. And gavest him Eve. And gave him Eve. His wife. His wife. For an helper and stay. Of them came mankind. No. Of who? Thou madest Adam and gavest him Eve for his wife for an helper and stay. Of them came mankind. Two men can't have babies. Two women on their own can't have babies. That's right. Look how corrupt society is now. Two men to get married, two women to get married, then they go adopt children. Yeah. So they can pass that spirit down from generation to generation. That's right. Two men walking around holding the hands of a little boy, thinking, putting that corruption in a boy's mind that... You don't have to be with a girl. Right. You got two daddies. No, you don't. That's right. You got two sinners. Amen. All children that are watching. Go ahead. All children that are watching. And your daddy married to another man. <laughs> your daddy is evil in the eyes of God. That's right. I don't care if you don't like it. <laughs> All children that got two mamas. Amen. And your mama sleep with another mama. Your two mama actions are evil. That's right. Wicked in the eyes of God. That's right. In the book of Leviticus chapter now, 20. Now, now, now you can get upset with Pastor Jennings and say I'm gay bashing. If you say I'm gay bashing, you television station, you radio station, and you internet station. If you say I'm gay bashing, then take all Bibles and burn them. That's right. Take all Bibles and get rid of them. That's right. Because what I'm saying is in that Bible. That's right. Listen. In the book of Leviticus chapter 20 and at verse 13. Leviticus 20, 13. If a man also lie with me. If a man lie with me. Mankind. As he lies with a woman. As he lies with a woman. Both of them. Both. Have committed an abomination. Both have committed. An abomination. An abomination. They shall surely be put they to shall death. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall their be upon blood, them. Their blood. Their blood shall be upon them. Shall be upon them. That's right. That's how bad God hated. That's right. He said you shall be put to death. Put well, to Pastor death. Dennis, are you saying kill now? No. I can't kill you physically now, but there's another way to kill. That's right. Thank God the Bible said you killed all the day long. In the Old Testament, they killed you by taking away your natural life. In the New Testament, you are killed by the word of God killing your desire. That's right. Killing the way you think. Killing the way you feel. Killing the way you love. That's right. That's right. In the Old Testament, they took a sword and cut you. In the New Testament, I come with the sword. That's right. Because the word of God, word of God. the sever ties right. between two men. That's right. Amen. Are right, you listening to the old man? Back in Romans chapter 1 and verse 25. That's what? Who changed the truth of God into a lie. You want to change the truth. Truth is Adam and Eve. Right. The lie is Adam and Steve. <laughs> Amen. Truth is Adam and Eve. Lie is Adam and Steve. In Genesis truth. chapter 2 and verse 23. Listen at this. Genesis 2 and verse 23. Right, is it? And Adam said, this is now bone of my bones. Bone of my bones. And flesh of my flesh. Flesh of my flesh. She. He. She. He. She. He. She. Read that right, William. She. He. She. She what? 
she shall be called woman. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. No, a man was taken out of a man. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Amen. Where did the other man come from? That's right. That's right. Therefore, there's this Bible here. Therefore, you see a lot of folk don't want to read this. No, no. They say right away the homosexual community said, well, see, Pastor Genesis, none of us Bible. The Bible is only written by hetero mm. or male chauvinistic men who had their own opinion. They don't know what it's like to be one of us. I don't want to know what it's like to be one of us. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. No straight man mm -hmm. wrote the scriptures on his own. Knowing this first. I want you to know this first gift chapter verse. Second Peter chapter wait, wait, one. Wait, wait, what, what book you in? Second Peter. Oh, Peter. 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 The, 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 the so-called first pope of the Catholics. Second Peter. All right, Francis. That's right. Hey, Francis. Francis. Amen. <laughs> Francis, I said. Amen. We want to go to your first pope. First. Give chapter and verse of the so-called first pope of the Catholic Church and hear what he said. Second Peter chapter 1, we're at verse 20. That's what? Knowing this first. He said, I want you to know this first. That no prophecy, no of, prophecy the scripture of the scripture is of any private interpretation. Nobody spoke it on their own. Nobody come up with a conclusion of the meaning of their own. Nobody gave their own opinion. For the prophecy came not in the old time. The prophecy time came not in old By time, the will of man. By man's own will. But holy men of God speak. Well, wait a minute. What what kind of men were they with? Holy men of God speak. How? As they were moved by the Holy Ghost. All right, Mr. Francis. Amen. Who moved you? <laughs> That's right. To tell the world same-sex marriages is all right outside of church. Amen. Who moved you to say it? Amen. Because your first pope said. Holy men of God speak. Holy men of God speak. As they were moved. As they were moved. By the Holy Ghost. By the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Who moved you? Hallelujah. Amen. That God, the same thing that moved Peter's moving me. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's why I agree with the apostles and what they said. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory take God. Hallelujah. You got the same spirit they had. Got to agree with them. That's right. They just have to do it. Amen. What did he say? Back in uh, Romans chapter 1 and verse 25. All right. Who changed the truth of God into a lie. Uh -huh. And worshiped and served the creature more than the creator. Let's well, have amen. For this cause God this gave them up unto God vile affection. Gave them up now. Vile. Now God labels the affection. Vile affection. He's labeling the feelings. Vile affection. He's labeling the options that same sex have to each other. Vile affection. Not at no time did he say it's loving. No. Vile. Not at all. No. What do God call it? For this cause God gave them up unto vile affection. Vile affection. For even their women. Even their women. He changed the natural use into that which is against nature. The natural use is woman with the man. <laughs> That's right. That which is unnatural, a woman with the woman trying to make a baby and then going to try to get married. Right. And it's amazing. Even homosexuals have their own channel on mm. cable. They have their own channel. <laughs> There's the yeah. LGBT. Q R S T U V W X Y Z network. <laughs> My Lord. <laughs> Had their own network. Amen. Now they got more gay cartoons for children. Mm. My Lord. Gay cartoons for children. My Lord. When I came up, we used to watch Sesame Street. The gay community kidnapped Ernie <laughs> and Bert. That's right. And now on Sesame Street of today, yeah. Ernie and Bert are two homosexuals. My lord, my lord. Church family, we need to boycott Sesame Street. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, but we definitely need to start a boycott on Sesame Street. Let's continue. My lord. And you get these feeble, Christian, grown men. Yeah. Pastor Jennings, you got them forcible. Uh, don't be forcible. But say what you say with love. But what is, what, what, what do you define, say what I say with love? Right. Sounding like Jimmy Swagger? Uh, <laughs> that what you call loving? Grinning like I have muscle contractions. That's right. Like Joel Austin. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Bible says God is love. That's right. And God word is forcible. How forcible? Let's get Bible. In the book of Job, chapter 6 and verse 25. Job 6 25 says. How forcible. How forcible. Our right words. How how forcible! How forcible! How Hallelujah. forcible!
example. A right word. A right word. But what do if you're arguing with proof? God, God made me a forcible, forcible. preacher. That's right. That's right. How in the world you gonna get that boy to pull his pants up in front of another boy telling him, Timmy, you better stop pants, boy. You don't, do that. <laughs> you don't, you don't do that, Timmy. That's right. That's who a boy. Tell Timmy, hey! That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you don't pull your pants right, up, boy. Go ahead. I have you where you can't sit out. That's right. Timothy will get the message. Yes, he will. Man. That's right. Amen. Let's go back to Rome, son. Everybody all right? Back in Romans chapter 1 and verse 26. Listen at this. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affection. Yes. For even their women, they changed their natural use into that which is against nature. Uh -huh. And likewise also the men. Likewise also the men, like yeah. Dirty Harry, when he was here. That's right. That's right. Dirty Harry said he was under the anointing when he was with his partner. You know the devil had him so deceived. deceived. I mean, that's like deep deception. Amen. He said he felt the anointing of God when he was with his male partner. That's not only blaspheme, that's trying to belittle God. That's right. For when you will, when you with your wife, you don't need no anointing for that. No. Huh? No. Oh, no. I don't need the Holy Ghost to come <laughs> upon me to beard my wife. No. Uh-uh. No, Not no. at all. No, no. I didn't feel the moving of God when I first saw her at 14. And I just left church. Huh? Amen. When I just left church, I wasn't under the anointing. When I saw her jumping rope, I, I wasn't speaking in tongue. That's right. That's right. Huh? Amen. You see, I'm a realist. I wasn't speaking in tongue. And I just left church. Amen. I left a prayer meeting. I came out of prayer. <laughs> I came out of prayer okay. and saw her over there. That's right. <laughs> An old dirty trifling Harry. Amen. Had the audacity to say that his uh, sexual activity was so much involved with this partner, My the Lord. spirit of the Lord came upon him. My you Lord. know you got to go to hell. Oh yes. You deserve to go to hell. That's right. Go and belittle God and try to make God like wicked like the human family that's right what's wrong with you preachers mm. that you won't stand up for god amen you love money that much yeah. how is it y'all sold out mm. around the world pope pope come in town every so-called denomination they gonna see him that's right like someone great came in town that's right the circus came in town <laughs> amen mm. Mm. pope come in town Apostolic bishops go kiss his hand. Yeah. Pentecostal bishops kiss his hand. Non-denominational bishops kiss his hand. Baptist bishop, Mormon bishop, Presbyterian, That's Lutheran, right. Catholic, mayors, governors, black, white, celebrities. Yes. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you. My time is getting away. Finish up Romans, Romans. and get the 18th chapter of Revelation. I have to get that. Yes. Amen. I, I, the clock is ticking and clock I got to get busy. That's right. Come on, son. Romans 1 now we're at verse 27. Yeah. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman. Leaving the natural use of the woman. Burned in their lusts one toward another. Wait a minute. Amen. A mm. man look at a man. Same plumbing. <laughs> All the difference is one may be fat, one may be tall, one may be short, one may be skinny. Same plumbing. Right. Right. No hips, no curves. That's right. Just a totem pole. <laughs> How in the world are you going to burn looking at that? Burned in their lust one toward another. But viewers, Pope now mm. says it's all right. As long as you're a sinner outside of the Catholic Church, you can burn. It's all right to burn and have your own kind. My Lord. That's what the false prophet Pope says. That's right. But listen at what the true prophet says. And likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman. The men leave the natural use of the woman. Burned in their lusts one toward another. Let's see how plain the Bible make it. Men with men working that which is unseemly. No, men with men doing the will of God. Men with men working that which is unseemly. Men with men doing God's agenda. Men with men working that which is unseemly. Whether you're in church or out. That's right. When a man is with a man, mm. what does the word of God call it? Men with men working that which is unseemly. It's unseemly. That's right. It's wrong. That's right. That's why I said Francis is a liar out of hell. Amen. Listen at the truth of God now. Amen. Pope Francis is a lie from the pits of hell. That's right. Come on, you Catholic Church. Jump on the truth of God. We would like to take you for a ride. Oh, yeah.
I'm issuing a challenge to the Pope. I'm issuing a challenge to the Pope. Amen. I want my secretary, Sister uh, Meredith, amen, to put together a letter and send it to the head Catholic Church here in Philadelphia uh, with my challenge towards the Pope. I think the biggest Catholic Church is downtown. Downtown, I forgot the name of it. Uh, cathedral, something. I forgot, what is it, Williams? It falls church. I thought you would know. I, I, I don't know that one, Pastor. <laughs> Amen. I don't know that one, Pastor. But uh, we, it, it's not hard to find. It's that right downtown. Amen. I want my secretary to put together a letter. And we want to emphasize to pass this on to the Pope. And we are challenging him for an open televised discussion on any platform. I'll come to Rome. Amen. Mm. I come to Rome right in the open field. Amen. With God's word. Yes. With the word of God in my hand. That's right. Like David against Goliath. That's right. And I guarantee I take the entire Roman Catholic Church and I'll remove your head. Amen. Just like David removed the head of Goliath. That's right. So finally, that was the video there. I just want you to put down your comments in the comment section. What do you make of this? I know that true Christians will, will understand the, the reality of what we are talking about and the reason, the necessity of hammering on these things. These men are evil. See, there are so many church leaders that are devilish. Follow them, follow them at your own perils. I also know that there are some Roman Catholic members who are serious and who understand what we are saying that we are not actually trying to insult the Pope or to create an argument where there is none. I felt so disappointed seeing all Loma, at all Loma, making frantic efforts to, to explain something you cannot explain. There have been reactions all over the world. Well, anyway, let's know what you think about the video in the comment section. I'll be seeing you in the next video. I want to plead with you to subscribe to our channel if you have not done so. Support us in any way you can and don't forget to subscribe to our backup channel, Maranatha TV. The link to the channel is in the description area of this video. Thank you so much and God bless you. I'll see you in the next video till then from me to you. Shalom.